Welcome to our next video in the introduction to OpenBSD model. This video is what is OpenBSD? Let's begin. OpenBSD is a free multi-platform Unix like operating system. It's the most secure operating system in the Unix family due to its continuing source code audit. OpenBSD is a full feature operating system and it is an operating system which attempts to minimize the need for fine tuning. But what does it mean? What is OpenBSD? Well, as part of this course, we will explore what it is a Unix family system. BSD, I'll talk this part of the Unix family which was born in the 19th 60s, it has differences in the most used commands and the started scripts, which make it different to his cousins. OpenBSD, as an example, has several differences with the Linux family, as BSD has its own file system and a started system which is called the BSD system. Instead, the Linux family has the V system, V as in picture. This is very important because for the purists, these differences make them, although part of the Unix system, very incompatible between both of them. Now, most Unix family operative systems are streamlined for server duty. They are lightweight and any feature that has to be installed on them has to be planned and custom made for the type of server that you are creating. This includes security. OpenBSD instead is a streamlined but already includes an streamlined security which means that most of the security standard issue settings are included into the standard bare bones configuration most hardening options might need some fine tuning but the default settings of these security options are already installed and configured in the bare bones of BSD instance. OpenBSD is a secure full feature server operative system. What do I mean with that? OpenBSD has access to most of the apps available to any server in the Unix family, and besides, it has access to a more secure versions of certain apps, including the trademark packet filter, which is the firewall application for BSD. What is included in a bare bones OpenBSD installation? It includes X. X is a graphic interface, which is similar to the one that comes with Ubuntu. I said that it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. It has several differences that we will explore. It comes with CLang, which is an interface for purists trying to program in C. It includes the GCC compilers, which are compilers for C, C++, Object C, Fortran, Go, and D. It comes with Perl which is a very important programming language in the last 20 years, actually. It comes with NSD and Unbound, which are DNS services. For people which are unfamiliar with what is a DNS service, DNS service converts IP addresses to name convention, which whenever you type uh, www your webpage.com, these services will convert that name into an IP address and guide the user or the browser itself or even the script to 
his intended target. These DNS services are very important. And Curses is used to create text user interfaces. So you might be able to program an interface and add it into a C or Fortran program. Packet Filter is one of the most powerful software-based firewall applications and allow you to set your firewalls and give them additional services. Not recommendable in many situations, but if you have limited resources, this is great. Being utils, these are common binary tools, most of the where uh, commands are going through there. GDB, it allows you for all you security buffs like me to decompile a running program and find out what is going on with it. You might see its uh, source code. So, very important. And the CLIB. CLIB allows you to uncompress those star and GC uh, files. Now, what are the important points of this presentation? A bare bones OpenBSD installation includes a graphic interface, which will allow you to interact and access applications using a mouse and move yourself like you will use another operating system. It comes with firewall capabilities. You can set your OpenBSD server as a firewall. Development tools. We have been one, two, three. OpenBSD is extremely useful for programmers because it audits every line of code based on a strict set of principles. So it will allow you to program and OpenBSD will help you to eliminate common mistakes and bugs. And it comes with a DNS service, which allow you to set up your own internal web page in a private VPN. What are some features of OpenBSD? OpenBSD has functionality. You can use it as a DNS, as a file server, web server, you can use it as a mail server or a DNS server in any combination of this. Now, you see that I divide file from NFS server. It has certain differences on the service level. OpenBSD includes memory protection, includes cryptography, includes protection against privilege escalation or CH routing, and compatibility. OpenBSD is compatible with most Unix services. It doesn't need any license unless you have an, a specific custom program for it. Thank you for looking at this video. And in the next one, we will see what are the difference in the newer versions of OpenBSD. This will give you context to know what to expect in our next videos and in the services that we're going to explore. Thank you.